call isn't always specific to a like a certain uh, position or a certain vocation, but it's just to say yes. I, I really ran from the call um, for a while because I didn't understand what ministry was. I didn't understand what it meant to really uh, serve in the local church. Um, I knew God was, was prompting me to, uh, to move away from uh, my comfort and, and move to New Orleans. But I had all kinds of excuses. I said, Lord, I'm 40 years old. I have a wife, two sons, a job, and a house payment. How can I go back to school? When I said amen, we looked at each other and we knew that God was calling us to New Orleans Seminary. Uh, I wanted to preach God's word in all of its power, um, with all of its authority. I found that when God called me, he called my whole family. My pastor was speaking with me one day and said, have you ever just looked at the programs at New Orleans. I said, no, I'm never going there. And we sat down and he showed me how great New Orleans is and showed me why I need each class. Really, it was the time that he spent with me looking at the program, looking at uh, basically everything that New Orleans had to offer with, you know, this is the hardest place you can possibly go to learn ministry. So thinking about all those things, we came and visited. And when we came to the seminary and, and the first class we sat in was uh, filled with prayer. It was gospel driven. It was super practical. And but yet it still had a good deep uh, scholarly theological emphasis as well, biblical emphasis. So from coming and being on the seminary, we felt like this was a great place. But then when we went out into the city, we said, wow, this is a place that, that needs Jesus. And if we're going to study how to do ministry, what would be a better place than to go to New Orleans? God doesn't just call you to New Orleans for the school. He grows you in so many ways. And I tell people, I've had the highest of the highs and the lowest of the lows since I've moved here. It's only been three years of my life. <laughs> and I wouldn't change it for anything. You know, I, I don't know what 20 years you know, uh, down the road, what, what that looks like. But uh, I know for, for now, uh, you know, answering God's call is just being obedient. It's not just about an information download. It's about changing lives with the gospel of Jesus Christ, changing lives also with just the, the scripture, the word of God going forth into people's lives. And you may spend the better part of your life trying to reach a very small number of people. And that's what it's all about, is being willing to go after one person who needs Jesus and not, not placing the value of a group or a multitude over the value of one. What you've seen and what you've heard in me, entrust in faithful men so that they might be able to teach others as well. Almost unfathomable to think that God has called me to, to a work like this. It's, it really is the most glorious work that anyone can be called to. Uh, it's the work to, of being an under shepherd of the Lord Jesus Christ. And I consider it a great honor and a privilege. And I don't take it lightly. Yeah, there's so many different ways in which we answer God's call, but we have all left everything to answer God's call.